League of Legends is one of the most popular games in the world right now, with somewhere around 3 billion active players. However, despite its massive player base, only 1 in 10 players actually know how to play the game. So as my way of giving back to the community that's given me so much over the past few weeks, I've decided to make a comprehensive guide on how to play League of Legends. Using this guide, you'll be able to reach the top of the ladder just like me. Now, before you even think about starting up a League game, be sure to turn on your monitor. Oftentimes you'll get people in your games that forget this seemingly simple step. On a related note, I would also recommend plugging in your keyboard and mouse. Once your pre-game prep is complete, there are a few more things you have to do before you actually queue up for a game. The first is deciding which role you want to play. As of now, there are four different playable roles, mid, top, jungle, and support. I'd recommend trying each of them out to decide which one you hate the least. Also, please note, this is a list of playable roles, therefore ADC is not included. The easiest way to decide on which role you want to play is to pick a champion. You've got your mid laners, your junglers, your tops, and your supports. Just choose whichever of these champions appeal to you the most. The second thing you want to do is make a rune page. My personal recommendation is to make a page with one of each type of rune. By doing this you're able to have a well-rounded page that's viable for any champion that you want to play. It's also considerably cheaper to have a single page for every champion, and since Riot rations out IP as if it were World War II, you have to think economically about every purchase. The final step is to create a mastery page. For this part, all you have to do is scatter points randomly around while being sure to take one of the 8 keystone masteries. I would recommend reading through each of them on your own to decide which one you should pick up since I'm way too lazy to go over each of them myself. The last thing that I'm going to do before you start playing is go over the type of people that you'll see in-game. Probably the most common type of player that you'll run into is the Toxic player. The Toxic player is the kind of person that will flame you for the smallest mistake you make but completely refuse to admit any mistakes that they've made. Some common mistakes this type of player make but often refuse to acknowledge include being born, breathing, and playing the game in general. They constantly try to blame other people, even if they're the ones feeding their ass off. And sometimes, in the more extreme cases, they will threaten to AFK or intentionally feed. These types of players are commonly located in the 5th division of each tier where they remain festering and getting more and more toxic. Avoid this type of player whenever possible unless you're some type of masochist who likes that kind of stuff. The next type of player is often difficult to distinguish from the average toxic player. I call them the I'm better than you give me my lane and cater to my every need players. You'll often see them demanding their lane and spamming their op.gg in chat to try and get what they want. People like this often lack social skills due to their poor upbringing, so the best course of action is just to ignore them. Since they're familiar with neglect, they'll feel right at home, allowing them to calm down a bit. A subcategory of this group would be the entitled duo players. These are the people that believe they have some sort of divine right to bot lane because they're queued together. When you're playing League, you'll occasionally run into smurfs. Smurfs are higher ranked players playing on a lower level or lower ranked account as a way to bolster the self esteem because they realize they can't actually play the game at their own elo. It's like beating up a kid with muscular dystrophy to build confidence because you got your ass beat by your peers. There isn't much you can do when you get one of them in your game except take the loss or hope the enemy team is bad enough to make them lose. Up next are the support mains that think that they can play other roles. They'll swear on their life that they can play jungle or mid, but the second they actually get put on them, they'll get stomped harder than my nuts in a BDSM session. This is the type of person who is two ranks higher than they should be because they main brain dead champions like Janna. The polar opposite of this would be the support players that pick shit like Zyra, Brand, or Karma. These are actually good players to have on your team since they're often autofilled players who actually have mechanics, unlike Soraka and Janamains. As long as they pick one of those champions, they will essentially become a second carry. So don't be surprised if they end up having the most damage on the team because for some reason they're allowed to have trillions of damage despite having absolutely no items at all. Fucking pieces of shit. Okay, so the next type of player is the girl gamer. These are the people who almost exclusively play Janna, Nami, or Soraka support, and sometimes you'll see them in the form of 013 Jinx or Lux. They often overuse emoticons or try to overemphasize the fact that they're a girl as a desperate grab for attention. Despite the fact that I've put these people under the category of girl gamer, they're likely just guys who are catfishing to get free shit from horny nerds. As a general rule of thumb, everyone on the internet is a guy unless you hear their voice and get pictures with timestamps. After the girl gamers, you have the genuinely shitty players. These are the type of players who give up first blood in lane, then teleport back only to be immediately killed again. There are two types of people that fall under this category. The first ones are the people who think that their teams are holding them back from getting out of bronze. Nine times out of ten, it's safe to assume that anyone who says this is dense, ignorant, and bad at the game. The second type of person is the one who actually tries to learn the game, but has some sort of mental block that prevents them from getting any better. If you have this issue, my only recommendation would be to either give yourself a lobotomy or slam your head into a brick wall repeatedly to give yourself a life-changing concussion. If you're lucky, the mental block will be completely removed. The final type of player in League is the person that claims that they hate the game and complains about literally everything but still continues to play the game. This is by far the most irritating type of person. 
I really don't care what problems you have with the game, or that you just got demoted because your teams are always shit, or because you've had 20 AFKs in the past 5 games. If you don't like the game, just fucking quit. No one wants to hear you complain all the time, and no one will miss you. Alright, now that I've gone over everything you need to know before you play a game of League of Legends, I'm going to end the video.